Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. I was just on the Facebook and I saw this radio uh, for free, believe it or not. So I uh, contacted Bill. He was very nice, you know. He sent me his address. I'm on my way. I'm going to his house to pick it up. I'm pretty excited about this, you know. Uh, hopefully I can make a nice video of you storing this and send it to be later. I'm on my way now to Orange Park, Florida, which is about 30 minutes away from my house. But the crazy thing about that, I put his address, not the city, because I was driving, just I clicked, you know, and it took me <laughs> to Orange Park in the state of San Augustine so I had another 30 minutes to drive to Bill's house <laughs> let me start again I forgot to press the button <laughs> all right we're gonna start again this is Bill he is donating that uh, you know, radio and also that phonograph that is so nice of him I came here to pick it up and I promised him when I finish it, I'm going to send him a picture. Again, thank you so much, Bill, for donating to me. Thank You're an you. awesome guy. Thank you. I noticed in his workshop, he enjoy woodworking. And I start asking him questions. He's a pretty interesting person. Actually, I'm going to put some of the pictures here to have what he does. I asked him to send it to me. You might enjoy watching this. He actually has a page of a marketplace and he sells this. It's always a pleasure to meet people that they are talented and enjoy hobbies. I, th I thought you might enjoy watching it. Again, Bill, thank you so much, you know, for donating this. When I finish it, I will send you videos. I'm heading home now. It's about 30 minutes away from my house, so... I'm going back home. And this is the road I'm taking back home. It's very really peaceful, you know. Not that many cars. Two lane road. I, I love this type of road to drive. I don't like highways. Highway, you know, it's boring to me. Here just to be a two lane now it's just they build a city here i can't believe how much things change here unbelievable i think we are still in san augustine all right i am at home uh, this is what i brought i'm going to take it out and clean it a little dust over it so i'll be able to clean this thing all right this is one of the unit that bill gave me is a record player i don't know how old it is but i never saw something like this before in the wooden cabinet it should be pretty old and this is the radio all is apart like that but not a big deal i can't put it together i just need to clean it i brought it here outside to clean them so be able to take it inside the house so this is the other side uh, the good thing about it is it still has the glass majority of time this glass you know it breaks so still this has it that's a good thing and that's inside i do have another one like this hopefully i can restore both of them at the same time all right just want to show you and this is pretty unique too it should be player and recorder we're going to figure that one out hopefully later all right everything clean as best as i could get all the dust out and this is how it look like this says how many pieces there are here and of course this wire is going to be totally replaced so let's see what i can do this with radio let me show you the other side this is how the other side look like but it's cleaner at least all right so let me start working on it all right, what I did, I taped this so this door doesn't open up. All right, the glass, as I mentioned, still is in good condition. I want to protect it, so I taped here. 
Now, the leg, one of them came off. So I'm trying to take this out. It is part of the leg like this. See, it's screwed in. For one reason or another, the other one, it broke off. See, something like this. And Bill, you know, the owner of this radio, gave me this other one. So somehow this was sitting here. I believe it's been soldered. So I have to figure out how to fix this one. So I'm going to take this nail out right here, or this is screw. And that's the only plier I can use. There's not, I cannot use a screwdriver because you know it's flat as you see here. It's totally flat. And again, this is how it look like. So let me take this out. It was totally bended. This radio needs a lot of work. As you see, the chassis is not in good condition. Let's see if we can rescue this radio. That's my goal, to rescue it. All right, this is out. I'm glad I have this piece. It was in his shop in the floor. I'm glad I saw it there. So anyway. I'm going to put all this in the back so it doesn't get lost. See, this is where the glass is. That's why I taped this so it doesn't open up. I am checking this out to see what's the best way to take it out. I see the speaker is right there. As you see, it's right there, the speaker. Of course, the knobs, as you see, are going to pop up from the other side, like any other radio. In the bottom here, See, there's something there in the bottom right here, but there is no screw at all. Let me check this out to see what's the best way to take this apart. I'm going to open this up to take all the knobs out. Yeah, it's just you pull it out. That's all you do. They are wood. Believe it or not, these are wood. Huh? Yeah, they're all woods. They're very interesting design. Let me close this again and tape it so this doesn't come out because there's no way I can take this out to protect again this glass. This glass is pretty interesting. As you remember, this is how the court was. Somebody did this. So I'm already cut it. I'm going to trash the entire everything. I'm going to trash. I'm going to put a new cord in here. This wire here is supposed to be like loop around here. Somehow this was bended. I think I have to unscrew this. Be able to take the radio out. I'm going to hold on to the radio. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Huh. So you just unscrew this. Later on, I need to fix this as well. I <laughs> never knew this. Very interesting design. This still loosening up. Now everything is still loosening up. I'm going to stand it up to be easier to unscrew this. Unfortunately, I cannot video that portion because this radio is too tall. All right, this came off. Of course, this come off. Took this speaker out. Okay, the red goes over there. The green is this side. Let me take a picture of this so later on I remember. Oh, this not soldered. Just press this down and pull this out. I'm glad it's not soldered. It's much easier, see? It's like a clip. So you press the other side down, then you pull it. That is good. That's easy. I take this wire out of here where the speaker is. Just might have cut it somewhere else. Then later on, figure it out. Okay, I see what they did. See, they stapled this piece to here. There's a staple right here, two here, two here. Exactly, is like the other side. You see, this is staple. It's a sharp here. I'm going to do better than they did. At least the speaker is in good shape. Please, they put a box around this. See, there's a two screw here, then this piece is going to come out. I have to take everything apart 
to restore it. This is going to be a complete restoration. And this is not a repair. You know, the difference between repair and re restoration is the car. You know, sometimes you repair it and sometimes it needs total restoration. And that's what we're going to do with this radio. Very interesting the way they build this. I'm pretty excited to work on this. So these are the two screws, goes right there. I'm going to put it aside as well. Now you see the speaker is out like that. All right. We know this is going to be the bottom. We know this is going to be the top. If I can polish all this to original condition, that's going to be great. See how they did the speakers here? See this? Of course, I'm not going to take it out now. Again, these two screws need to come out. So these two pieces pop out right here. I'm very careful not to damage anything. All right. Usually with old radio, especially if you sit in the barn, the garage, or somewhere like that, the bugs get to it. So I can't put this aside until later I can get back to it. All right, let me see if I can take the radio out now. See how dirty this is. I need to take this outside the house and clean it. Everything needs to be cleaned very well before you glue them together. Because if you glue it now, but it means it's not, good, not a good idea. Clean everything before re gluing things back. And there's a little knot there. You have to take it out to remove it. Okay, that's the antenna here. We'll release the antenna too. All right. So the chassis is out. I had a little washer there too. You want to take a picture of things. So you remember how to put everything back. Believe me, you're going to forget. It takes time to fix this type of thing. All right. It's pretty interesting. These are all transistor. There's no tube. I thought it was a tube radio, but there is no tube. They're all transistor, as you see. So I need your assistant. There is no schematic inside this cabinet. I checked online, but could not find one. I would appreciate your assistant in locating the schematic for this radio. Thank you so much. And some capacitor need to be replaced. There's a capacitor here, and this is also a capacitor. Usually these are several of them in there. It's two or three capacitor might be here, and one is here. All right, everything else is out. So this is by itself here. Don't know where this came from. I need to figure that out. You see that? Just just fall off. We will figure it out. Alright, let me clean up here. So let's just stop the video here and to be continued since I don't want this video to be too long. This is the list of what I need to do to complete this restoration. Of course, the restore radio cabinet since now everything is apart. Next, I need to fabricate missing part. Then we're going to troubleshoot the radio chassis and possibly all the capacitor need to be replaced. Then we reassemble the radio and we test it. So stay tuned for upcoming video. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when new video being uploaded. You have a great day.